love a their parents. A lot of people cheat. Well, That's the reality. Yeah. A, so a lot of people that you their, don't know. Okay yeah. So it. what if it's on their wife who got a couple kids Have at their home? Babies. And, it's yeah. not so what. Yeah. So what? You know, it's like <laughs> it's not so what. It's well. Yeah. Menace. What's the uh, what's well, the flight news you were saying right before the break? Oh, Craig's not gonna like it. There's oh some breaking news that there was a flight uh, out of London that hit a little turbulence, so much so that somebody died. Oh my God! What? And several? Yeah. From turbulence? Yeah. Some, you hit know, their they, head or they tell you to keep your seatbelt on during yeah. the flight. Which I do. And uh, because you never know, out of nowhere, it can get pretty rough. And I th- I'm guessing that's what happened. I don't know the full report, but yeah, it said 30 people were injured too. Uh, yeah, I've heard of people getting injured. I'm, people die? One dead, several yeah. hurt, and severe. Huh. Oh, my God. Damn. Uh, so, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> let's go on a flight. When are we going? Never. <laughs> Never again. Well, there was a flight uh, on its way to Chicago. got diverted because somebody got their laptop stuck in a seat, and they couldn't mm-hmm. get it out. And so they had to land the plane because they didn't want the laptop to catch fire from the lithium-ion batteries. Okay, that's a little much. That's like what? Huh? Like, w- would it catch that's fire so if it wasn't? In right. This, like all of a sudden it's stuck, therefore it'll catch fire. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, maybe yeah. if it. Uh, I guess maybe if you if if it's wedged in there and, and it's not and it broken air or something. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Well, Weird. I mean, better safe than sorry. Yeah, I guess so. It was an I, international flight too, so, yeah. so uh, oh. extra pain in the ass. I forgot to share with you, I did take a spirit flight, and there was almost a fight on there for the first time oh, wow. that I got to witness. Oh, good for you. Some guy was being an a hole to uh, one of the flight attendants yeah. because he was like, I don't know, he was like pushing people out of the way to get to the front of the plane to try to put his bag in a, like a overhead bin because where he was sitting, it was full, mm-hmm. and she was like trying to say like, hey, you know, we'll, we'll give you some time to put the bag away. And he's like, slap me, slap me, punch me, hit me, do whatever you want. And everyone around is like, what, what are, you are you talking, talking about, about, dude? Come on. Yeah. It's like, what an a-hole. But right. Shut nothing up. Nothing more than that. They I should got, have kicked him off. Yeah, yeah. I got my phone out ready to record, but yeah. nothing. Dang. Um, has anybody watched this uh, Ashley Madison documentary? I started it. No, because. My I, wife brought it up to me yesterday. I, I know people are talking about it. Yeah, but... people are talking about it. I watched so, the trailer and it didn't look that interesting. Really? I started. I probably watched about half of it. I think it's three episodes. Really? Yeah. It just gets a. It's a little redundant. Yeah. Why do and, you need three it, episodes? Right. And it made me very angry. Like yeah. the way that they're rationalizing this. Like people are going to cheat anyway. Yeah. Well, so might really, as well give them a place I, to meet people. The reason I didn't watch it the whole uh, because the whole thing was. Phony. Scam. Yeah. yeah. Scam. There's so, like no women on there. Right. All right, fellas. There's all these chicks that are dying to cheat. Are they? Right. And they need to go online to find someone to cheat with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Common sense says. Yeah. So no. it, was, it was all dudes <laughs> who right. signed up. Right. Mm-hmm. The documentary goes into all this. It does. So all these dudes sign up, find people to have a discreet affair with. Literally Ashley millions Madison. of people yeah. joined. So, Dudes, yeah, yeah, millions of dudes. I mean, and some so, women. They t- talked to some guys that did meet women on there, and the uh, and this one woman who worked for the company was talking about how, like, on the daily, they were creating these fake female accounts oh. mm. to be on the site and just to keep people like, juiced. Yeah, keep the right. guys on, keep there. them paying. Yeah, keep them paying, and then they offered for all right. Look, maybe you've had a change of heart. You're not looking to. Uh, you're not looking to cheat now, and so you want all your information off the site. Mm-hmm. Well, for 19.95, wow, we could scrub we all your scrub information it. off okay. the site. And so they took everybody's money, but then they never did that. Oh. And then there was that big data breach. Remember years ago? Yes, that's five right. years, six uh-huh. years ago, whatever it was. Huge. And like all the the the, the names and the emails, the names were all out there, yeah. right? And everybody was like scrubbing through it and trying to find anybody of note. <laughs> that they knew. Uh, yeah, anybody there that they was, knew. There was a couple, I forget yeah. the names. But, yeah, I just, I don't get, like, why would people be interested in documentary knowing that it was fake? The ones that I wanted, the one that I want to see was the dating websites that paid women to go on dates with guys. Yeah. Like, that's way more interesting on yeah. how that worked. And they because, also had these um, examples on that documentary where women would go through their husband's credit card uh, statements and see 
uh, you know, Ashley Madison or this website on there, they would call and say, I don't recognize this charge. And the people at Ashley Madison, the customer service reps would say, we represent a whole range of different websites. It's not necessarily Ashley Madison. We'll go ahead and take that fee off. Then they would contact the husband and be like, hey, you need to open another credit card and oh. pay us with that. have been busted. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And they knew that they're, you know, the customer service reps were told, you know, just lie to the wives. <laughs> now, th- this would be interesting for Sammy. Like, if you ever wanted to relocate, yeah, here's where all the cheaters are, which th- <laughs> okay. this is actually legitimate information because it's like they could mm-hmm. see where the most dudes are signing up. So if you want to find a guy who will cheat on you. All again, these nice oh, guy cheaters. Perfect. Yeah, because we know how type. they're good people. Because yeah. we know how tolerant you are yep. of that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, number one. Wow. Columbus is nice. I think you'd Followed like it. by Miami. Orlando, nice. Vegas, nice. Atlanta, Richmond, Virginia, Cincinnati, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Tampa, and Buffalo. That's the top 10. Okay. Outside of that, number 11 is Pittsburgh, Spokane at number 12. You got uh, Cleveland, Denver, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, Tucson, Arizona. Colorado Springs, Austin, Texas, Boise, Idaho, Wichita, Kansas. A lot of Woody Show cities on there, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So much cheating. A lot of Woody Show cities. Oh, boy. On that list. Thanks, Sammy. And no. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could pretty she, much live she, anywhere, she, you know? She brought yeah. a demo. Yeah. They also talked to this one guy whose wife knew he was on Ashley Madison because they had an open marriage. And yeah. They don't tell you that until like half an hour into the first episode. Yeah. He said, oh, I was so excited to meet my f- the first woman, and I was nervous but excited. And then you find out his wife is well aware of it. Mm. She also has affairs. And I thought, well, that's not a good example. So they did offset that with a guy who met the love, as a, l- love of his life, fell in love, had a babies and all that, and then he decided to join Ashley Madison. He said he was so thirsty at the time, you put your real name, real phone number. Real oh my God. He's like, I was such an idiot. Totally destroyed his marriage. Moron. Uh, 626 says, my wife and I got into a huge argument watching it. Oh, yeah? Do not watch this with your spouse. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Interesting. What would you fight about? <laughs> um, well, because it probably makes people like, like okay, suspicious great. at least. Let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me use this example. Okay. You know the show Homes on Homes? Of course. With Mike Holmes. Love Mike Holmes. Yeah. So we're, we're talking home improving stuff now, guys. All right. <laughs> so Mike Holmes is this guy, and he makes it right. So he fixes all the bad all stuff. All the old problems. Contractors and home builders and cut corners and, you know, Did not doing things to job. code and everything else. Leaving people high and dry. And he comes gotcha. in and he fixes it all. He does it properly. Right? And he's going around showing people what's wrong and why it's wrong and how it should be and why. Uh-huh. Yeah. And while all you're right. watching this, all you're thinking about is, is what's oh, wrong with my house. That is true. Uh, right? So when you're watching right. this, you're thinking like. Like you might think. Mm, well, yeah. Wait, last mm. week you came home late and didn't right. say why. <laughs> yeah. It gets you crazy. Oh. And that it's, it's momentary uh, yeah. insanity. Who's this new Facebook friend? Right. The reviews are really bad. Uh, someone said, I watched it. It's really interesting. Way more real women than what he is uh, mm. acting. It has a 33% audience score. But like, everyone is so unlikable, it makes it hard to watch. That is so yeah. true. That seems yeah. what like the audience is saying, too. Well, Every, it's got to be somebody who likes cheaters like uh, Sammy. Yeah, of oh. course they're Sammy unlikable. Sammy would love it. Sammy would love it. It's this shady, well, this shady well, ass look, website. look, guys, I yeah. don't support it. Well. I mean, so they're on there cheating, but does that mean they're a bad person? No. Not really. No, they're good people. They Listen, still love their parents. A lot of people cheat. Well, That's the reality. Yeah. So a lot what of people that you don't know. Okay yeah. So it. what if it's on their wife who got a couple kids Had at their home? Babies. And, it's yeah. not so what. Yeah, it's so what. You know, it's like <laughs> it's not so what. It's well. Yeah, yeah it's well. well. They're good. <laughs> yeah, you know, good people deep down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people make yeah. mistakes. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. All yeah. Human. They do. Yeah. They yeah. Do. Raby has a friend whose iPhone was stolen. That's right. Got a new one. Correct. And I'm not sure what to do in this situation because, you know, even though you mm. could see where your phone is, they always tell you, don't go, go trying location. to find right. it. Right. Because he was showing me on his new phone where, where his is. old phone is. And Why I'm aren't like, you supposed to do And that? where is it? Just traveling around uh, oh, okay. Winnetka. <laughs> okay. You know, where like we're here. And it's just like, I have like, I thought once you got a new iPhone, like that phone would be shut down and you couldn't track it anymore because it's yeah. the same number usually when it gets stolen they just turn it off 
It's I'm confused. Like I don't understand why you can still like how track long it. ago was it stolen though? Two weeks. Really? So they're charging it. Yeah. And is there any activity on the account? Like, did they call their cell phone provider and tell them it was stolen or lost? Um, and I can see where it is. Like, why wouldn't you have this, the service shut off? I mean, yeah. obviously, he went to the Apple store to get a brand new phone because that old phone was stolen. So they know. Yeah, but he'd say, hey, phone's stolen, shut it off. Because otherwise, like, why would they keep charging it? Yeah. So, like, do you have to go... Then contact your provider after you get your new phone, like AT and T or Verizon. I would or think so. Yeah. Whoever, T Mobile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's like if you, lo- you well, lose like, a credit card. Well, like, why doesn't all that stuff happen at the oh, Apple Store? All right, let's keep it real. Is this your trainer again? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's my neighbor yeah. who lives uh, okay. behind me. <laughs> Ravi's trainer is not the sharpest. <laughs> yeah. But what good would it do to steal anybody's iPhone? Like, if I that, stole Woody's my, phone, and that's my question. Because how could I use it? You, but it's traveling every day. You steal it to sell it. But who would buy that? Someone well, who thinks that you're the owner of the phone. phone yeah. but, and I sell it to you. You think that I'm just getting rid of my old phone, trying to get money for it. Right. So that you buy it. I've got your money. So I've, I've made out as the person yeah. who no, stole I mean, I the phone. I understand that concept. Yeah. But I mean. Now you're the one stuck I'm, with a stolen phone. You I'm, try to activate it. It's not going to work. Right. If I'm buying a phone from a private party, I would try it out first and then realize oh i can't get into this oh and look hi here, here's i'm greg dory i must try this phone first. uh yeah i know we're in a parking lot after facebook marketplace but <laughs> that's what i'm <laughs> right. saying because i'm gonna stand that, here that and see if it works I'm, I'm glad yeah. you're making my and, point and this, for me and who's then, doing this because most second, people want that transaction to be very quick yeah because they don't, they don't wanna... know who the person is that's showing up am mm-hmm. i gonna get rolled is what they're thinking yeah who on earth would buy a phone off a private party people do that's lame. My son just sold mm-hmm. a Lego BB-8. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Right? You don't need a passcode to get into it. Mm-mm. No, but I'm saying like people buy, I, yeah. I, I wonder like, who bought this? Right. That's why? what I'm wondering. The box but, could have had a brick in it. Who knows? But why you know? is this iPhone just traveling around every hmm. day? I guess That's they're weird. using it. It is weird. You know, it's crazy. Uh, I don't remember what we talked about right before the break. <laughs> you <don't. laughs> oh, cheaters. Yeah. 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 Cheaters. Ashley Madison God. died. Mm-hmm. So when you walk up to me at an event or something, you go, hey, man, I was the guy that called in and said whatever you, yeah. you said. Yep, yep. And I looked lost. Right. It's because he is. No offense. <laughs> don't remember. I can't remember what the hell we just talked about right before the break. <laughs> me neither. That's every day after work. <sighs> I know. This about? just happened. Like. A like, few minutes yeah, ago. Yeah. Less than 10 minutes ago. <laughs> like, I get it after the show. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> right. we're just it, during minutes the show? away from, from No, I'm with yeah. you, though. Yeah. If I don't take notes, I wouldn't have known yeah. what we just talked about. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually way more on top of things, but, like, my mind is mush anyway with whatever's going on with mm-hmm. me recently. But then also, I'm fighting whatever this stuff is. It's got me sounding like all hoarse, like, you know, mm. this frog in my throat. And it's pissing me off. And so I'm like very distracted. Yeah. I apologize, mm-hmm. everybody. You're probably dying. I probably am dying. Oh, it's probably, right. yeah. Is that yeah. what? I yeah. did have <laughs> the that conclusion. thought. Definitely. The I did Reaper. have that thought. Yeah. I mean, because, all right. So, rightly so. I'm like, wow, I have this like sore throat. Mm-hmm. Because, and it's because I've been trying to like clear and cough and mm-hmm. get whatever this is out. Mm-hmm. So I know why it's sore. But of course, I read something about this guy who all of a sudden out of nowhere had throat cancer. And I'm mm-hmm. like, that's probably what it is. Probably. That's, yeah. I, that is exactly <laughs> what happened. Happened to my neighbor. Just just read it yesterday. And then I mm-hmm. thought about uh, Tarek El Moussa. Oh, right. From HGTV and about right. how, you know, I'm feeling around for my effing thyroid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And somebody. And I'm like, how do you know if it's big or not? Came to, exactly. I don't know if it's yeah. big. Remember it was what a, does it feel like on a normal day? I don't know. Right. Who, Who yeah. knows? Not what like a normal finger in my neck doing? normally, you know? Right, like finger you have, your lymph uh-huh. nodes. Right. How are your lymph nodes? I don't know. Finger them. I, I always yeah, I feel know. them, and I don't know. Is that big or small? Is that Greg a swollen I node? Know. Greg yeah. and I do the same thing. It's so dumb. I don't know. So, yeah. All right, cheaters. That reminds me. Okay, so now I know what I was going to say. People wanted to know why Sammy's such a defender of cheaters. Was she a cheater? No, she wasn't a cheater, which is why this is so much surprise. Why it's so surprising to us. Mm-hmm. She was cheated on. Right. And so she should be... I mean, I, Leading the charge. As far as I know, I have not been cheated on. It, like yeah, I maybe I was. I I'm not aware of it. Mm-hmm. If I was, right? 
but man, do I hate me some cheaters. I, I just don't understand mm. it. I think it's a rotten thing to do. Yep. I really do. I can't imagine the guilt that you live with. Probably. I feel well, guilty. Thing, I, feel, guilt. I feel guilty about stuff I shouldn't even feel guilty for. I can't imagine if I yeah, did I something like that. I would be crushed with guilt. I don't think with they're guilt. with guilt. Huh? I don't oh, think they're with guilt. Don't have guilt. No. Until they're not. caught. Yeah. Right. So if I was justify. cheated on, man, would I be angry? And she's just like, eh. Well, I'm, I, well, I, well okay. I've, I've been to, <laughs> to plenty of therapy now, I yeah. guess, to have gotten to that point. Of, of course, I wasn't like that at first yeah. when I had news like that. I was freaking out. But I think that there's a lot of things in relationships that go wrong and and that so many people can be like, I'm the good one. I didn't cheat. But kind of were you? What else were you doing in the relationship or oh, whatever? And so you were asking for it is what you're saying. No, 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 no. Because it, it doesn't have to do with that. I guess I don't know. I, I don't I'm know. not I think explaining saying, it like, correctly. Oh, uh, you also you weren't a, even though you weren't cheating, you weren't a perfect person. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But I think that doesn't mean I have a kind of different. On. I have a different, maybe kind of the same outlook. I'm. I don't think I can ever control somebody. Right. You know. Yeah. So like, if they oh. cheat, that's why I wouldn't be angry if I found out. Oh, I'd be angry. She, I'm like, oh. Okay, they cheated. I can't, I'm not, I don't think you could ever stop anybody from doing it. I agree it. with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I understand that there's nothing. You, if someone's going to cheat on you, they're going to mm-hmm. cheat on you. That's why I'm not sitting around actively worrying about it. Mm-hmm. It'd still mm-hmm. piss me off. Sure. Yeah, of course. I'd be angry. Mm-hmm. I'd be really angry. But yeah. if it's somebody else in your like, yes, you'd be super angry, especially if it's somebody that you're in a relationship with. But if it's a sibling, a best friend, if you're a kid and one of your parents cheated on the other and that's why they're not together anymore, for you to have the outlook of everybody who cheats is a piece of trash that could be yeah. cutting out so many people in your yeah. life Good. who that's not really equated yeah. to the relationship you have with less them. Less obligations, less birthday cards I gotta go buy mm. and overnight. Yeah. Screw you, bro. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I don't, I guess, agree with yeah. that. But there's a, there's the guy in that documentary of Ashley Madison who destroyed his marriage over it said that he started cheating because he kind of missed that spark of a new relationship he missed the excitement well then talk to your wife and say hey yeah. let's spice things up and try or xyz let's break up or mm. yeah i really what? need this in my life again so right. i think we should go in our separate ways right or break up be right. a man so it, it, i agree it is a bad person's doing yeah yeah it, is this a lymph node Oh yeah, yeah. That, Does it feel swollen? Yeah, I mean, it looks like a grapefruit. Does it? The Woody Show. Be back in a bit.